you guys welcome back to another first impression video the big five are cranking things out lately and today we're going to be looking at the new spring know me collection if you're not familiar with this video this is a series where i take a look at a sewing pattern collections entire collection whether that's like a new release from the big five or an indie patterns entire catalog so now that the big five has started releasing all of their spring patterns i'm going to be going over those over the next couple weeks and today we are going to be focusing on know me so know me the brand if you're not familiar is designed by makers and creators in the community so these are all real people who sew um and are not trained technical designers but they are given the opportunity to develop a line of patterns with uh, with simplicity and no me <clears throat> so when we look at no me patterns we are mindful that the people who are modeling them are the are the designers themselves okay and that they are designing these patterns but they're not developing them okay so they're designing them sending them off some other technical designer puts it all together sends it back to them and then they make their samples based on that okay so keep all that in mind um as we go through all of the patterns okay first up we have alicia alicia grace um i love that she made the cover i've also i follow her on instagram and she has she's a teacher and her, one of her students is interested in photography. So she gave her student the opportunity to take her photos. And I mean, look how amazing. I just think that's so cool and so fun that it's like a teenager um, photographing all of her pictures um, and that she made the cover. Yay. Um, okay. But this is design. This is a lined twist front crop top with adjustable straps and back separating zipper with a midi length skirt and a shaped yoke gathering waistband and invisible zipper. I assumed it was a dress, but it's two separate pieces. Sizing here is eight to 16 and then 18 to 26. So pretty much the whole size range minus size six. Are they still doing four um, in the misses? So about as inclusive as you're gonna see um, from the big five. No me, I want to say is one of the most inclusive. McCall's is getting up there, um, but no me is super, super inclusive. Okay. So it's basically like, it, it's really kind of just like a twist front bra out of a woven fabric. You can tell that it's lined. Um, it's got the spaghetti straps with the, which they did make adjustable. Um, this cool, uh, front twist detail and then a super high waisted skirt. Now this is supposed to sit at your natural waist, which I think it does for Alicia. That that seems appropriate to me for her. But if your waist sits a little bit lower, you might have more of a gap between these two, which is again why I thought that they were attached what, looking at this for the first time. But I'm wondering if you were worried about that, if you couldn't somehow attach them to make it more of a dress. Um, you'd still get into it the same way, but you maybe have some like, I don't know if you'd want to stitch them together or have some hooks or, you know what, just find another pattern if that's what you're looking for. Cause this, I think as separates is really meant, meant to be that it's really, really cute. But I know a lot of people are going to be like, I could never pull that off, but you can, I mean, look how great she looks, right? Um, so, okay. Uh, you've got a dedicated waistband here, nice thick waistband. Then this is the yoke, um, and it's nice and deep and long so that the gathers start at what I think is her low hip. Now, I'm interested to see the back of this to see how that translates, because for my body, she I don't, I don't know what um, body shape she has. She might be an apple, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, but for those of us that are more pear-shaped, you know, we have a lot more volume down here. So having a ruffle go around my butt is not something that I typically look for, but I just want to see if that's exactly where it falls as we get through these photos. So I'd also just love that color on her. And then she made a plaid version. 
the top and the plaid is really interesting because it is so twisty. You can't even really tell that it's plaid anymore, I guess. Let's see. Are we just getting the same? I, this is going to be my new big gripe with them. That's the same photo. They're all the same photo, just different, um, like, zoomed in versus not. Okay, interesting. Here's the back. Okay, cool. So, you've got a zipper, not even an invisible one. Um, I guess invisible zippers, right, don't have the stop on the bottom. So, you have to use a regular zipper. Adjustable straps, what they talked about. And then, yeah, so this is hitting right across the fullest part of your bum. It's at your low hip. Um, there's some darts in here. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know about the yoked skirt. I do love the concept of it. I guess it's not as bad as I thought. I think it would be worse if it were lower. That's for sure. And also worse if it were higher. So you know what? I actually think if you're going to have a skirt with a yoke, this placement is probably pretty good, no matter what body type you are. And like this is a more drapey fabric, so you can see how it's falling in on her a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. That's really interesting. Plus, I think it's got like a shape to it too, right? Like that looks like it's not straight across. Yeah, see how it's got this, like, almost like country western type of vibe. I mean, making this out of denim and going to do some line dancing? Are you kidding? That would be so fun. Okay, so... Oh, sorry. Um, batiks, chambray, charmeuse, cotton lawn, cotton blends, gauze, gingham, linen blends, poplin, and silky types. Yeah, so all of your kind of, like, a little more stable light to midweight woven fabrics. So they're not, I mean, they do have silky types in there, which are like lightweight, but you could have a little bit weightier of a silky type. Um, but for me and my like everyday style, if I'm going to wear something that's this kind of fashionable, you know, like a full on bra top and a skirt, if I'm going to wear that to Target, which is like my, <laughs> my gauge <laughs> for if it's really wearable in my life or not. Like I always think, would I wear this to Target? So if I were going to wear this to Target, I would feel really dressed up no matter what fabric I would use. Um, but I think that the chambray or any kind of like a seersucker, anything really co like cotton, like cotton kind of like you know, not expensive, not fancy, like down to earth fabric, linen, something like that. And also probably in a solid color, I would feel less dressy. Um, when you get into prints, things can look a little bit fancier, even if you're not intending for them to be like that plaid version she made just looked a little bit more, just a little bit more, you know, than the solid one. Um, but yeah, it's a fun pattern from her. I'm excited to see her branch out like that. Okay, so then you need a five inch zipper, bra strap sliders and rings and an invisible zipper for the skirt, which I'm assuming is on the side. And then size wise, we've got a bust of 31 and a half to 48 with two inches of ease. That makes sense. And then the waist, did they do the waist? Yeah. So the waist has one and a half inches of ease. So yeah, that's going to sit, that's going to like, my body is like kind of goes in and then out. It's a little bit like an hourglass, but not totally. Or I guess maybe you would look at it like going kind of a little bit straight down and then out. So it's going to fall down to my natural waist, which is a good, yeah, I would show a little bit more skin than her, probably an inch or two more than her. So there's that. And then the hip is very large. So we don't, it's very roomy. So we don't have to worry about that. Yes, Alicia. So cool. Okay. Next we have, oh boy, we're doing this again, huh? Okay. Every time I'm going to have to scroll up. Sorry. 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 All right. Next we have lens, top and pants. 
Lynn's style is so fun. Okay, Simi, I'm sorry, Demi, what am I saying? Denim top with high-low peplum waist. Has pleated sleeves with cuffs, built-in collar band, flat filled seam details, front button closure. Wear it with the coordinating pants. Pants that below the waist have a fly front zipper and button closure. Sizing, 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. Okay, look at this funky top. I think that's what's so cool about Lynn's style is she's definitely not afraid of a statement, right? But look at like all the details here. Not only do we have these gorgeous princess seams, look at this super deep hem. Also, how does she get that to look so worn in already? That's cool. And then this giant puffy sleeve. These, I love that she moved the little uh, flat pockets up. Typically, we see them down here, and that just wouldn't have worked for this. So I love that she moved them up. And then it is a high-low peplum style, but look, it kind of comes down to a point and then straight across. So it's not curving all the way this way. It kind of is way more angular than you would think. And then we have the kind of like the straight flare um, jean. Very on trend right now. Um, it's not a flare jean because that would come down super tight through here and then flare out. This one's more of a wide leg or like a straight with a, like a bit of an like, like an a-line to it super good okay same photos all right here's the back oh that's kind of hard to see plus she's twisting so that's you know hard to assess fit but you've got a yoke you've got the Princess seams again. The fit looks pretty good. It might be a little tight on the bicep here. Even when her arm is down, it feels like a little bit constricting. So I would double check that band for sure. But other than that, it looks really And I, again, I'm super intrigued by how this is already so worn in. She must have some like, I don't know, sandpaper or something. What, are, what are, would you do? Oh, we don't get any pictures of the pants. Okay, so the pants have... Here, I'll show you on here. Yeah, the pants are a traditional jean. This is probably a really, really cool pant, even on its own. Even if you don't like the top, the top is too much. This pant pattern could be <clears throat> a really, really on-trend, um, comfortable, go-to pant for you. <clears throat> I love it. I love the angled pockets, waistband um, with belt carriers. And just the shape of the leg is really, really nice. You've got some darting in the back and then you're just traditional back pocket. So that's great. That's great. Okay, let's go back here and look at the back of the envelope. So chambray, chino, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, stretch wovens, and twill. Yeah, I think that you want to kind of stay a little bit solid with this one because there is so much going on on that top. Um, I'm I'm sure she intended it for denim and then, you know, they just figured you could probably make it out of these other things as well. Um, her denim even looked pretty, like, mid-weight. It didn't look like chambray to me. It looked like a mid-weight denim. So I would pick something a little bit heftier, um, something pretty stable and a little bit heavyweight. I do think, too, let me go back, that the, I was wondering if these two were the same denim. I think, because this one does look different, right? Like, this looks worn in, whereas this one, not so much. But I can't, I can't tell, because it kind of looks the same here. So it's just hard to tell if it's just lighting or if they really are the same. They look, they've got to be the same. Why would she buy two different ones? That just common sense wise is telling me that, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So you can see also too, just how structured the denim is that she used. Not a lot of drape. It's got to be like a pretty, I don't remember like the ounces of denim anymore. Seven, nine, which what's, what's considered mid to heavy weight. Um, that's probably what she used for hers. She might also have it on her Instagram somewhere. Since these people are all like creators, they all have Instagram. They're all very present on social media. Um, not like one designer for McCall's that you don't even know who she is. Like, you know who all these people are. Um, 
Okay, so then you need 10 jean buttons, a zipper for the pants, and another jean button for the pants. So our bust, it has, what is that, three and a half inches of ease. Yeah, that's fair for something this structured and kind of mid-weight. Um, and then the hip of the pant has four inches of ease, which again, that's at the hip, so four inches. And then as you go through the thigh and everywhere else, it kind of tapers away from the body. So again, I, that makes sense. That seems right. That seems right. And then they give the waist of the pant two, and it has two inches. So yeah, that all feels really good. Makes perfect sense. Um, yeah, that I think that that jean could be a real sleeper kind of pattern, right? That you don't realize you need and then you have it and then you make it and you're like, oh my God, this is my favorite pattern. <laughs> okay, now we have Alyssa, not Alicia, Alyssa. Um, and she is very cute, very fun. She's got a very youthful kind of style. She has made this oversized dress and romper with drop shoulders, bishop sleeves gathered into bands, side pockets, button front closure, and neckline variations. View B has a shaped hem detail. I'm super excited to see this. 4 to 12, so they are going down to 4. 4 to 12, and then 14 to 22. And I think that they're giving her the smaller sizes because A, she's petite, and B, I think she attracts more of a younger demographic. So like teenagers, you know, people in their 20s who are, you know, we were all a lot smaller <laughs> whenever we were younger. And so um, she's attracting more of those um, demographics. And so I think the smaller sizes make sense for them. In a perfect world, we would have them all, right? All the sizes all the time, but okay. Yeah, I knew I was going to love it. This is the romper. This is like my ideal, like ev what I want to wear every day. This is the dress, a little bit short. She likes a little mini hemline. And this is the romper. I will be buying this immediately. I love this. I love this. We actually have pretty similar styles, she and I. She just tends to be a little bit more girly than I am, believe it or not. I mean, I know I'm girly, but she's real girly. Um, so sometimes she has like all these extra frills and stuff that aren't my vibe. What happened? Um, but this one is a million percent of my alley. So we have this half placket kind of yeah I mean it does go down to your belly button but it isn't all the way down um you've got a kind of I guess a collar not really a collar it's just a band a neck band these really wide grown on sleeves and then you attach the sleeve here with a gathered um hem into a cuff patch pockets on the side and then your mini length this is the romper version. She made this out of a white shirting. Perfect choice. And I love that she has it mostly unbuttoned. She's just, this is just perfect. I'm obsessed. Um, this one actually has a collar attached to the neckline. Same um, placket, same sleeve, same pockets, but it's a romper. And I think there's even a seam here, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's just so good. We'll be living in this. You'll see me in this all the time. There's the back, right? Cute, fun. Oh, we don't get a back of the romper. Bummer. Okay, let me see. Yeah, no, those are not style lines in there. They're just, I don't know, it's just an interesting shadow. I really feel like the, the, pattern, the line drawings are not doing it justice, and that's too bad. This looks funky. I get that. But it looks so cute when she had it on. You'll see. You'll see. I'll make it. It'll be awesome. You guys will be like, okay, okay. I've seen two versions that I really like. I can get behind this. Um, yeah, because it has a gusset and not, I guess it's a gusset, and not a traditional, you know, um, center seam. But you know what? For all the trouble that pants and shorts bring us with that crotch curve and everything else, this is a way to get around it. This is a way to have a short, right, where you feel a little bit more comfortable in um, and not have to worry about any of that. So that's a that's a thought. That's a selling point, right? <laughs> okay. So cotton blends, gauze, ITY knit, jersey, linen blends, 
PK knit, sweater knit, and terry knit. Yeah, you can make it out of woven or knits because it is so loose fitting. There's nothing fitted about it anywhere. Um, it might be a little bit helpful if your knit had some vertical stretch to it. it the, the horizontal stretch doesn't matter. But if it had some vertical stretch, I think that it would be maybe just a little bit more comfortable. But the wovens are still totally, totally wearable. So you're going to go with things that it's seeming like, <clears throat> like lightweight, stable wovens and knits. Like shirtings, like uh, PK knit is pretty stable. Um, ITY is really lightweight. I wouldn't go with that. Jersey even, unless it was like a mid-weight jersey and you weren't intending on wearing it out, like if it were a pajama, I think jersey would be good. Same with sweater knit and terry knit. You just got to make sure that they are comfortable enough to wear out when it's like the only thing covering your body. You know what I mean? So six buttons and a strip of rib knit trim for the cuffs, I guess. Yeah, gotta be. You could get around that on your woven if you just made a cuff that your arm could fit through and you just adjusted the gathers, you know, and just made a bigger woven cuff. You wouldn't need to buy that rib knit trim. You could just use some scraps. So what does 4 to 6, 22 really mean? Not much because this is so loose fitting. So even though uh, the bust of a, a size 4 body measurement is 29 and a half, it's got 40 inches in it. So that's 11 inches of ease. It's very, very roomy. So it's intended to be that way. It's intended to be oversized. The hip has, the, what is that, 9-ish? No, 31 15 inches of ease. That's a lot. Um, that's a lot. It feels like even, I think 12 would make sense. 15 still feels like a ton. So maybe size down. <sighs> I don't know. Cause you do want to have that oversized look. Yeah, I guess it does have 15 inches in the, in the hip. Yeah, I guess it does. So because it's just kind of straight up and down, you know what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't grade. That's when I go to make mine, that's what I'm going to do. Whatever size I fit into for my bust, which is the smallest part of me, I'm going to make that size straight down. Yeah, so normally that ends up being like a, I think a 20 or maybe 18, 20, and then 22 for the hip. That may be what I do. So I'd make a straight 18, which would mean I would still have 10 inches of ease in my hip. So yeah, I would keep the shape of it and not alter the, the not grade anything. Okay, fun, cute, love it. Been waiting for somebody to do a pattern like that. Okay, now we have Kichi B style and her style is always really structured, angular, like almost bordering on avant-garde. Um, she has a corset style jumpsuit with sleeveless or short sleeves option, bust starts, panel palazzo pants, side pockets, and invisible zipper closure at the center back. 10 to 18 and then 20 to 28. So it is a Mrs. and a women's. So corset style bodice. And then a wide leg palazzo pant jumpsuit. So this seam here and then you have the corseted paneling. Now is this intended to be under the bust? Because if so, it's really short here. Yeah, let me see. And the red color is kind of also hard to see. But yeah, I think that. For me, I wouldn't want to be able to see this. I would want this to be looser, baggier, so that you couldn't see that line. And this is a hands-in-pocket pose, so it's going to be a little hard to see. Um, yeah, that one, yeah, this one's a little bit better. But again, this is coming across, like, right underneath her high bust. 
and I don't know if that is the intent or not. We'll look at the line drawings, but here's the back. You got a deep V in the back, really pretty. Um, here's that like empire waist seam, I guess. And then the pant seam starts pretty low. Like the, this is her natural waist and the, it's almost like a yoke. Um, and then you've got the big, the big pant, the big wide leg pant. Yeah, for some reason, I'm liking the denim one better. I don't know if it's like the fabrication of the red one um, is just, you know, highlighting some things that maybe you wouldn't normally see. But, I mean, the line drawing is super cool. So what you have to keep in mind here in terms of like your body shape and whether you're going to like this or not is this corset is going to go over your waist. It is going to end kind of at like the bottom of your belly. So if you have a uh, belly protrusion, this is going to put all of that inside of this corset, which is the intention of it. But what happens underneath your belly from your, from your like low belly to your crotch line is where a lot of people carry extra and that will be highlighted. That will, that will stand out. Um, I think because you won't have the structure of the corset all the way down there. I think most corsets that are intended to cover all of that go all the way down here. Um, this one's kind of stopping a little bit at like the high hip. Yeah, but the line drawing is super cool and super fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't adjust it. I, this is the way it's meant to be. So either that's for you or it's not for you. I think if you are a hourglass, this is going to look fantastic. Um, if you're a pear shape, it'll look really good. It's not so much about your shape this way. It's your profile shape. And I just want you to be aware that, um, this seam line right here, what happens below that, see her natural waist is right here. So it's a good two, three inches below that. I know for me, I carry a lot of weight there and I'm not sure that I would want to have a seam cutting right across like my belly button almost. Maybe even a little bit below my belly button. But if this is meant to be longer and this is supposed to go under the bus, which those line drawings didn't even really help with that, um, then this would be a little bit lower and that I think would be actually better. And it would make this kind of disappear too. So I'm wondering if that's just it. It just needs to be a little bit longer through here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's see what the, is it like a truly a corset with the boating and everything? Um, invisible zipper, featherweight boning. Yeah. So you're locked and loaded in there for sure. All right. Cotton blends, gabardine, linen blends, satin, and silky types. But I think, um, sorry about that. I don't even know where my phone is. Um, I, yeah, definitely your midweight fabrics, something that's going to hold up to the, the structure of the corset, but also keep those pant legs really nice and wide. So you don't want anything really drapey. So even if you go silky tights or satin, it's going to be like a mid-weight version of that, like crepe back satin, for example, that has a lot of body and a lot of shape to it. Okay, so body measurements um, and ease. We have a 32-inch bust is the smallest. So that's, what is that? Th three and a half inches of ease in the bust. That kind of feels like a lot for something so fitted. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And then the waist, three inches again. I think it should be closer to like, not that like one or two. I don't, I don't know. Um, and then the hip is really wide. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that that's that seems like a little bit too much ease. But I guess if you're in between sizes and you're going to size down, then that probably would make sense. Hmm. I guess it just depends on how you fall into these numbers here, what you do. But I would anticipate having to take it in some. If your numbers match exactly, I would imagine having to take it in a little bit, which is fine. That's, you know, perfectly part of the process. Okay, next up we have, doo -doo -doo. Um, oh boy, okay, doo -doo -doo. all right, this is the Stitch Fits, her name is Lindsay too, Lindsay as well, um, 
and so that's always fun. <laughs> um, she has made a dress and hoodie. Where is that phone? Oh my gosh. It must be like, <laughs> I don't know where it is. I'm so sorry if that's bothering you. Hold on. Nope. No idea. No idea. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. I'm uh, sorry about that. Okay. Mrs. Dress and Hoodie by The Stitch Fits. Soft knit tennis dress with adjustable straps. Has inside shelf bra. Love that. And built-in shorts. Also love that. Underneath the dress. Shorts have a pocket on the leg. Pair it with the cropped zip-up hoodie to complete the look. Hoodie has ties, front pockets, and rib knit cuffs and waistband. Okay. Uh, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 is the size range. And this is so fun. It's also our first, like, designed for knits dress. So look how cool this is. This is like a dress that I would normally never wear because I would be too self-conscious about the bra and too self-conscious about the hemline. But if it has the built-in shorts and the built-in bra, who cares? I would, that's fine. You can't see anything. Um, so that's super fun. And then she made this cute little cropped jacket. I would crop it even more. Like for me, I would want it to end at my natural waist, not my high hip, but that's an easy enough adjustment. Um, for this super cute, fun little like sporty outfit. And you would wear like a dress, like let's say you go to like Disney World or something, right? You wouldn't normally wear a dress like this because you would be worried about chafing and sweating and it would be awful. But because it has the shorts in it, like you could walk around in this all day and look like you're a million bucks. So super confident in your midi fitted knit dress. <laughs> I just love this. That's so cool. So cool. Okay, great, great. Got it. Same pictures. Uh-huh. All right. Well, we're not getting much more from them. Um, yeah, I would have liked a side profile picture because look at this. It has a, what is that? <laughs> like a opening on one side. So here's the bra, right? This has two layers. This is all one layer. And then at the waist seam is where the shorts are attached. Huh, so cool. Love it. And I don't know. I don't know that I need this. I might even just sew this right up. And I don't care about not being able to access the pocket. Or you do like the tennis girls do. And they just lift up their skirt. Put their phone in their pocket. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know that I'd be too worried about that slit. Plus, you can't even really see it in these pictures anyways. Is that where her hand is? Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> They just covered it up with her hand. That makes no sense. Okay. Well, <laughs> say lovey. Okay. So stretch knits only such as active wear knits, four way stretch spandex blends. Okay. While I do agree with that, I feel like there is a difference here between what the shorts should be made out of and what the dress should be made out of. The shorts for sure need four-way stretch because they're tight, they're leggings, they gotta be able to stretch vertically and horizontally. But you could make the shorts out of something else and then make the dress out of a cute rib knit or whatever um, that didn't have vertical stretch. You don't need vertical stretch for a dress. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, maybe doing separate fabrics for the shorts really for the lining and then the outer. If the intention is to never see the shorts anyways, um, then it wouldn't matter what they look like. And then also B, if you did see the shorts, like if you kept the little opening, just get them all in the same color, even though they're different fabrics. That's my thoughts on that. And then for the sweatshirt, the hoodie, double knit, ponty, sweatshirt, fleece, terry knit. Yeah, that all makes sense. That all makes sense. Okay, so we have one and a quarter yards of elastic, bra strap sliders and rings. I guess they're adjustable straps. 18 inch separating zipper for the jacket. Uh, twill tape or cording for the drawstring. Two strips of rib knit trim for the um, wrist band and the waistband. But the waistband is so loose fitting. The waistband, you could get away with just hemming, by the way. Um, okay. So, sizing. 
I want to know the sizing for the dress only. Okay, good. The dress has negative ease. Um, two and a half inches of negative ease in the bust, one inch of negative ease in the waist, and one inch of positive ease in the hip. So that makes perfect sense. That's great. So yeah, make sure to follow. They have that pick a pick a pick a knit, pick a stretch, whatever rule guide thing. Make sure to follow that because you do have the negative ease in the bust. So you want to make sure you're able to fit that around you comfortably and not feel like sausage casings. So cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, Gwen. Gwen is so cute. Okay. Gwen has a little bit of a vintage vibe. Um, she definitely has like a callback, um, to, I don't know if it's fifties, maybe a little bit fifties, forties. Um, she has made a pullover cap sleeve knit top with an optional sailor collar that ties in the front or a grommet lace detail. So cute. So two tops, two versions of tops. It's a knit V-neck t-shirt basically. And you can either do these grommets with this like little tie, or you can make this little sailor. That is just so freaking cute. Um, yeah, adorable. Okay, so this is not like a super <clears throat> fancy, complicated design, right? It's more about just the basics with a twist, which I actually really like. Um, and kind of elevating your basic t-shirt design is, is what's happening. So we have a little cap sleeve, like I said, V-neck t-shirt, not a lot to it. And then you can add these little details on it to make it like a little bit more special. So... Um, stretch knits like interlock, ITY jersey, rib knit, single knit, spandex blends, and then see the stretch gauge for sure. So, you know, a midweight jersey would be, would be perfect for something like this. Even a rib knit would be really good. Um, for the contrast, the little collar there, you can do a woven. So you can do cotton blends, ITY knit, wovens or knit. And then that little thing is interfaced, I think. Or maybe you have interfacing that goes here for the grommets. I'm not sure. But grommets, ribbon, twill tape recording, depending on, oh no, that's for view B. So view A needs no notions. View B needs all of these. And then ease wise, no ease in the bust. That is perfect. And four and a half in the waist. Really? Let me see. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't size down, but you might, depending on where you fall on the chart, if you're in between sizes, um, you might want to, after you um, make, after you sew up the side seams, just check it for fit and see if you want to nip it in a little bit more. Cute. I love that. I love that. I think that's really, I think it's nice to have some really basic patterns in a mix. Like, you know, not everything can be corseted and, you know, all the things. So it's great to have some basics like that. Okay. Now, oh, Julian. Julian. Okay. Shirt and pants. Wow. Okay. He's really, really stretching his, his styling. This is so fun. Okay. Double breasted, loose fit shirt with collar, long sleeves with cuffs and button detail, asymmetric fly pants, have hidden hook and eye closure, back darts, and double welt pockets. Look at this fabric choice. Oh my gosh. So this is menswear, right? So 38 to 46 and 48 to 56 is all based on your, the chest measurement. So we have, uh, I'm going to try and not <laughs> just base this on the fabrics and look at it as if it were just like denim and like a white shirting but yes julian <laughs> um okay so lapel shirt so it's a take on it's a take on your traditional button up shirt but it's a double breasted button up shirt and then the pants have this like crossover detail which we've seen a little bit in some of the women's wear patterns that the big five has been doing tapered leg 
and then welt pockets in the back. This is very unique. This is very interesting. I don't know. It, it's not for every man, right? Um, but if you're looking for something just a little bit off of center, a double breasted button down, that's it. You don't have to make it in a hot pink, you know, like look, look at the line drawings. See, it's like a blazer shirt, a blurt. <laughs> it's a blurt. Um, so yeah, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton blends, linen blends, poplin, rayon, shirtings, and silky types. So yeah, anything you would make a button down from. And then for the pants, you're looking for bottom weights. So chino, cotton blends, gabardine, lightweight stretch wovens, lightweight twill, lightweight wool blends, and linen blends. Now, okay, I get that his styling is, is really fun, right? Not for every day. But imagine this if it were a white, crisp white button down with white buttons or maybe even like bone colored buttons. And then you pair it with even a chino or a linen, like a mid-weight linen. Think about it in more neutral colors. And I think it might be something easier to get behind. You might, you're still going to stand out, right? It's still going to be a, a unique style. You're just not going to stand out this much. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I think if, if I were a man, if I were a boy, as Beyonce says, um, or if I were, if I was a man, like Taylor Swift says, um, I, I don't know. I have a feeling that I'd be more like inclined to do this. In Charlotte, especially, all we see is every man dressed the exact same way. And it's just so boring. Like how many, how many fleece vests can you really see before you're like, okay, guys, like, can we please do something different? Us girls aren't here on the streets trying our best. And <laughs> you guys all look the exact same. Okay. So buttons, buttons, zipper, and a hook and bar. Okay, cool. I don't know a lot about men's fitting. Um, I don't know what the ease means for men because they don't have boobs. They don't, you know what I mean? They don't have like a lot of shape to them. So I'm not going to go over that because I don't, I don't know how to speak on it. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. If you're a guy and you're watching this, give one, give this shirt a try. Give the shirt a try, okay? I'm, I'm convincing the girls to do things and get out of their comfort zone, so I should do the same thing for the guys. That said, though, I mean, why can't us girls make this? You know? Uh, now, now my brain is really going. I'm like, okay, well, that's fun. And you could pair it with, like, a million different things. I don't know. Maybe I'll be grabbing this pattern for myself. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, so this is the Handmade Millennial. I can't remember her first name. Hmm. I can't remember, but I remember loving her jacket pattern last fall. Remember, it was the one that had, like, the color blocking kind of done asymmetrically. So fun. And now she's got another little asymmetrical thing happening. This is a... Mrs. Front or Back Reversible Dress in Two Lengths. Front or Back Reversible Dress with Asymmetrical Gather Detail. Features, dress features both a V-neck and scoop neck like that can be worn either way. Okay, and then 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 on the size range. So right smack dab in the middle of all the options. I don't really understand the front to back. Like, I, if I like V-necks, I'm going to wear V-necks. If I like scoop necks I'm gonna like scoop necks you know what I mean I don't really understand the idea of swapping it around I guess if I wore it backwards it wouldn't matter <laughs> is that what is that what it is what I'm more interested in is this detail this is super freaking cool is it in this one too I don't yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh but it's different is it different this one looks like it's going straight down like this and not over the hip. Um, this does look a little bit deep. So pay attention to that. Depending on this fabric, it might have stretched out while she was sewing it too. Hard to say. But the neckline looks really good. But yeah, this looks a little bit, a little bit deep. This one doesn't look so bad. Let's look at some more pictures. Hold on. 
Now that one looks not deep enough. <laughs> so we overcompensated or when you do it back to front like this, it's different. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to really look at the pattern pieces to determine that. Um, yeah, she, she, oh God, how did I, how do I keep doing that? She, um, made this one out of like a lightweight drapey fabric, baby hem. I don't know. I, I'm more inclined to do something more stable, something more like a linen, something to get all these gathers to stand out a lot more. And it does look, I don't, that, mm, I don't think this is a facing. Yeah, it's hard to say because each version is so different in terms of fit. It's like she made them in two different sizes. You know what I mean? Like she just sized down one too many times for that one or sized up one too many times for this one. But yeah, this is definitely a different design. Let's get to the line drawings. Unless we get the... I love the midi length. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's front to back. I see. Okay, well, I like the front. I like this as the back is what I'm saying. Yeah, see how this is just... Something funky is happening. And I gotta imagine it has to do with this fabric choice. That is not for the faint of heart. So... Yeah, that one in the back is a lot prettier. Still a little bit, a little bit low, but not too bad. I love the design. I think that they are, they are burying the lead though. Um, this is what's so cool about it. Not that it's reversible. Who cares about that? Um, this is the interesting part. That said, floppy pockets, you, you kind of have to live with them. Or make no pockets, which is probably what I would do. I'm almost always carrying a purse anyway. So um, there's just no way to anchor this one. This one you can anchor into here and it would be fine. But this one, there's nowhere to anchor it. So no floppy pockets for me, not in my sewing room. You do you, but no, not for me. Um, I, I love this. And like I said, I think that making up some other versions in some different fabrics would make a huge difference because this I even the blue one I even feel like is um like a lightweight drapey silky type but I'm seeing like double gauze I'm seeing like linen you know let's see what they say so crepe de chine lightweight linen lightweight rayon rayon chalet tinsel satin so yeah they're definitely going for lightweight and drapey but I don't know my mind is immediately seeing it in more of like a poofy like highlight the gathers like stand away from the body kind of design yeah for sure so I think you could go these are all very lightweight and drapey you could go lightweight and more stable that's kind of what the linen is um you could do another version of that would be like a linen blend um or you could go 100% linen cotton gauze you know, those really like cloud-like floaty type of fabrics and really make those gathers stand out. I think the gathers are the coolest part. Okay, bias tape. Which maybe, yeah, it didn't feel like she maybe made her own bias tape from self-fabric and that's why the armhole was so difficult. Single fold. I don't even remember seeing top stitching on the edge, which it would have to have. So, yeah, this might be a better execution than whatever she did on her arm size, armholes. Okay, fit-wise, we've got five and a half inches of ease in the bust. That makes sense. Even more in the waist, that makes sense. And then five, four and a half, five in the hip, which doesn't make sense. Be oh, that's 32. Okay, sorry. So, no, I was right. Five inches or so. Yeah, I would think that the hip had a lot more than five, more like 15. Am I reading that right? Hold on, how do I get there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh no, that's the waist, duh. Okay, so they don't give us the hip measurement because it is so wide. So, perfect. So based on your upper bust, five inches of ease, feel free to size down if you're in between sizes and check the depth of the arm side is my advice on that one. How many more do we have? Ch -ch 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 
these were all fall. I think we've got one more row. Yep, one more row. Okay, so Donny Q has slowly but surely, actually not slowly at all, very quickly become one of my favorite fashionistas out there. His just affect is just so cool. Like, I just want him to think I'm cool. Like, that's how cool he is. Like, am I cool? Do you think I'm cool? Because if you think I'm cool, then I must really be cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what he has for us this time. Line jacket with button front closure, has notched collar and pockets. Pants, fitted pants have waistband and belt loops and button closure, gusset at the crotch and fl front fly zipper. Front fly zipper and button closure? Mm, that doesn't make much sense. Let's see. Okay, so he made like a little blazer, but look at this, the little pocket on the back. Come on, that's brilliant. It's, it's just so cool. Um, it's like everything that you would expect about just a regular old blazer and then boom, we're gonna put a pocket on the back. Love it. Okay, now let's see the pants. Show us the pants waist, please. No. Okay, let's look at line drawings. Yeah, I don't see how it has a button, belt loops, button closure. Is that this? It's not a button up, I guess. Button fly, I guess is what we mean. Okay, and a gusset at the crotch, which you can't even see that. I guess it's inside the legs. Um, and a front fly zipper. Okay, so a pretty traditional pair of men's pants here. And they added the pocket to mimic this. Added a little patch pocket, so... Cool. All right, so not as funky as his previous designs, but definitely, you know, highlighting his little quirky personality. Okay, broadcloth, chambray, chino, corduroy, cotton blends, denim, lightweight wool blends, linen blends, stretch wovens. Okay, six buttons, seven inch zipper more buttons and then your men's sizing is as follows it does seem to be pretty fitted this outfit um so five inches of ease in the chest i don't know if that's enough for a man i guess it is i don't i don't know i don't know if that's too much or too little so again i'm not going to speak on it but um but yeah us girls can definitely take our blazer patterns and add pockets to the back too if we want to be as cool as donny q is Okay, now we have Aronica. Okay, she's made a women's, Mrs. and women's jumpsuit and dress. Here for the jumpsuits this season. Deep plunge dress suit and dress with drawstring gathers at shoulders have optional front buttons on the waistline. Buttons on the waistline? Oh, in the middle. Okay. Side seam pockets, back ties, and invisible zipper closure. Jumpsuit has wide leg pants. Dress with tear has gathered ruffle at the skirt. Sizing. Three different sizes. 10 to 18, 20 to 28, and 30 to 38. Okay. So, ties at the shoulder, deep V. I would like to see this a little bit more, a little bit shorter. So, it's like pulled up but then you have your waist band which is just a band okay and then little button detail here they're just decorative and then an underskirt but this overskirt comes over and then has a ruffle detail here is this what's lined and what's not lined this line of demarcation is competing with this one in my mind but it kind of looks like a stripe so in a way, it's kind of cool, but in a way, I'd also like it if this were all sheer or all lined. So I guess I'm neither here nor there on it. Then here is the jumpsuit. Look at, I want to see the back. The back looks like something else is going on. Let's see that. Hold on. Oh my God. This is just beyond like. Yes, I love this. Okay, so it's like, yes. Okay, so this is the deep, plea, deep V plunge in the front. Feel free to move these in a little bit closer. You can even sew this up a little bit if you wanted. 
But then the back, these little things just come straight up and over your shoulder and straight down the back where there's this big opening in the back and then this just ties it closed. And then a super wide leg pant. I love it. I think it's really cool and fun. And I love how she used very easy fabrics, right? She's got a chambray and a eyelet. Um, so even though it's kind of an elevated design, it, um, if you can make it casual, like I would for sure wear both of these to Target, <laughs> for sure. Both versions. So cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I love it. Okay. So chambray, charmeuse, cotton blends, crepe de chine, gauze, linen blends, silky types. Yeah, any of those. Um, and then lining. I wonder if both of them are lined. I guess the bodices are both lined. Yeah, so the bodice is lined on the jumpsuit, and then the bodice and part of the skirt are lined for the line. Oh no, lining A B. Jumpsuit, lining, A and B. Gets the same amount, and it's not that much. Three quarters of an inch. So, something's wrong there. Because three quarters of a yard would not have made that lined skirt. So, I think she added that. So, that's actually extra lining. You know what I mean? I think that this is not part of the lining yardage. It's only factoring in this and maybe the waistband, not this. Right? That There's no way that that's three quarters of a yard on anybody. Because, um, yeah, and it doesn't even get... Is there... Oh, hold on. That's honey. She's crawling. Um, lining, lining. Oh, how do you even... Where's the fabric? Oh, here we go. Yeah, and that's just uh, one and a quarter yards for the larger sizes. So, yeah, I think that the the skirt, the underlining, whatever you want to call it, um, was not factored in here. So keep that in mind. Add an extra yard or so if you want to do that. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think that that was the three quarters of a yard to a yard isn't is enough for the bodice, the waistband, and that much of the skirt. Okay, so, and then uh, finished measurements, did they put those on here? No, they're in the envelope, so we can't see those. So, yeah, the only things that I would be looking for on this one is to make this shorter, make sure that it fits, you know, your under bust to your high point shoulder. Um, and it could be as simple as, you don't have to do anything complicated, it could be as simple as just taking in at the shoulder seam. It's not the right way to do it, but you could definitely accomplish it that way. But doing that and then double checking it against the depth of the of the arm side because you don't want that to get shorter. But other than that, everything looks great. If you're super concerned, the bodice is lined, so you could put a cup in there. And like I said, you could you could tie this up if you want, zip uh, sew this up if you wanted, um, depending on how your girls are and how comfortable you are showcasing them. All right, I think this is going to be our last one. Yep, and it's going to be the corny rainbow with her baby bump. What? A maternity romper. Oh, and jumpsuit by the corny rainbow. Okay, loose fitting romper and jumpsuit have button front opening, collar, collar band, pockets and back yoke with inverted pleat. Romper has long sleeves with cuffs. Jumpsuit has short sleeves. Can be worn as non-maternity. Okay, so... 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. Loose fitting romper and jumpsuits. This might be very similar to what Alyssa did. I mean, yeah, pretty similar. Okay, so we've got a collar, a button placket that goes down to about the belly button. And then this, the difference between Alyssa's and this one is Alyssa's has that kind of gusset, whereas this has a true crotch seam like a curved crotch seam front to back not side to side um and then hers has a little bit less of a drop shoulder than Alyssa's and then this sleeve 
is obviously not as full and all the way full length and gathered into a cuff. It's just a little bit straight sleeve. Yep, and then here's the jumpsuit, the pant. Both adorable, both versions. Alyssa's and this one, super cute. Yep, let's see the back. Are we going to see the back or just multiple? Okay, side view, I'll take that. Oh, this is the dress version. I'm sorry, this is the dress version. So, this one also has more like traditional shirt details. So, we do have the yoke um, in the back and then... I don't know if there's a pleat there. There might be because this feels like it does come away a little bit. And then the sleeve on hers does have some detail. I don't know if she just pulled it up or what. We can look at the line drawing. And then here's the back yoke. Ah, still can't tell. The braids are in the way. But it might. It might have something there. And then that just scoops underneath the body and you have a full leg. Great. Line drawing for the sleeves are, yeah, I think they are a little bit full. Let's look at them here. See how it looks just like, kind of like a shirt dress? Oh, and there is a pleat there. Just looks like a shirt dress. And then, what, well, is it a romper or is it a skirt, a dress? I thought it was a dress, but maybe it is a romper. Now I'm so confused. Um, I'll look at them again. But yeah, the sleeve does seem to be a little bit loose fitting. Why do they add all these wackadoodle lines? That's just so confusing. Yeah, cute. I like the romper a lot. Okay, so I was right at first. It is shorts. That's definitely a romper. So what's interesting is from the side view then, oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Um, What I'm seeing from this side view is that there is, where's the side seam? This is the side seam. So there is a ton of, of ease and volume in the back and then from the front there's not that much because you can see the leg line there now I don't know if that has to do with the belly I've never had a belly I've never had a baby I've never been pregnant so I don't know if those are correlated but it does seem to be I don't know what the term is technically but it does seem to be a little bit unbalanced how little there is on the front thigh and how much there is in the back what you would do to fix that i'm not even sure uh i guess you would add to the front side seam or steal some from the back and add it to the front i don't know i would say that the back doesn't bother me as much this does though I don't, golly, I'm sorry. Um, I don't like being able to see the leg like that. Now, is it because she's holding her belly? Again, I don't know. If she weren't holding this down, what would happen if this were like not being scooped underneath her belly? Because on these, these um, jumpsuit ones, that doesn't happen, right? It just flows and you can't even really tell that there's a pant leg there. That's what I prefer to see in my jumpsuits. Um, so yeah, I, it's hard to tell what's happening there, but it gives me confidence that one of them looks good. So I have to believe that the other one would too. Um, if it were just a different pose. So with this in mind though, this is obviously like a shirting fabric, whereas the jumpsuit one is a little bit more drapey. Um, and shirting is more stable. So this is going to stand away from the body, whereas the jumpsuit is lighter weight and more drapey, so it'll fall in on the body. Plus, she's standing with her leg out like this. It's really hard to tell from these poses what this would look like, if it's, if it's too much or if it's not too much. I guess you'd have to make a wearable muslin to find out, because this looks fine. This looks great. The jumpsuit... I, I have nothing to say about the jumpsuit. Um, if we'd only seen this picture, I'd have been like, this pattern's perfect. Um, but seeing that pink one makes me think, I don't know, something about it feels either unbalanced or, or the posing. I don't know. Okay, so chambray, cotton blends, double gauze, lightweight twills, and linen blends, polyester blends, and rayons. 
Um, yeah, it's very, very loose fitting. So all, like I said, all these like stable, um, whether they're lightweight or yeah, they're all lightweight, lightweight, stable would be this area here. Linen blends can be a little more drapier and then drapey, drapey. Um, but I like the idea of it being like, it's my boyfriend's shirt that happens to have a crotch in it. <laughs> I think I, that's why I like the pink one so much. Um, but a drapey fabric would be really beautiful as well. Yeah. Okay. So finished garment measurements, they included them, but there's, you know, nine and a half e inches of ease in the bust. There's gosh, 24, 34, 40, almost 20 inches of ease in the waist and 43, 13 inches of ease in the hip. So just very, very, very roomy based it off of your upper bust measurement. And who knows, maybe having all that extra space in the back for people like me with a pear shape would be good. I just know I also have an athletic thigh, so I have to factor in there being enough room through the front as well. So that would be easier to see whenever I have the pattern pieces. Yep. Okay, so I think that that's it. Let me double check. Doo -doo. Okay, so we've been through all of these, all of these, and then this was um, the cover of the last season. So perfect. All right, that is Nomi Spring. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven 11 patterns. What do you guys think? I kind of really like all of them, or at least parts of all of them. Like the jeans here are going to be great. Um, uh, I think that the Stitch Fits is definitely adding to my collection and Alyssa's and probably the Corny Rainbows as well. Might as well just add both of them. Um, will all be added to my stash. Oh, I really like this one too. So yeah, four out of 11, that's, that's a big deal for someone who has a stash as big as mine. That means we are coming up with unique, fun designs that we haven't seen before that are not currently in my stash. So that's my take on it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.